Ola means hello. Thank you, Fallout. Welcome back to Sanctuary. At this point, you have gone to the vault, you left the vault, you came back to Sanctuary, you killed everything in Sanctuary, and then you looted it, so now it's time to move on to the rest of the wasteland, right? No. They made Sanctuary an absolutely huge settlement for two reasons. The first one, of course, is because plot and this is where you were from, so it makes sense that they made it big and prominent. But the second one is that it's the first place you're going to, so they had to give you something to work with. And man, did they give you a lot to work with. Right now, you should be level 2. That means you should have a point in Idiot Savant, and you have a lot of other skills that you want to level. But you can't level them unless you actually have levels. So what are you going to do? Take your chances in the wasteland, or are you going to find some cheesy way to scrap up 16 to 18 levels before even leaving Sanctuary? If you chose the first option and you're playing in survival mode, go ahead, you can go out to Concord, feel free to die. But if you'd like to sail through the early game easily, then I suggest you stick around for a couple more minutes because it's time to get started. Now if you haven't already, go ahead and go over to the workshop and you should be able to search it by hitting E. I've already done this so that's why it says workshop and transfer. Now you entered workshop mode, that means you're able to build things and more importantly, you're able to scrap things. So go over to objects, hit R, and then you're able to break them down into parts. In this case, it's gonna take a mailbox and make it into six steel. And then we can just keep on doing this to all the different objects around, even some of the houses. Now I'm going to go around scrapping literally everything in Sanctuary. Trees, branches, everything that you're able to break down into components. Now I'm just going to time lapse it so you guys get to watch the shortened version. Because there's not too many instructions to give you other than go around finding things that you can scrap and scrap them. I have scrapped everything that I could in Sanctuary, even my missing son's belongings. The only things I left behind are the workshop, I'm going to need that, the weapons workbench, I'm going to need that, the armor workbench, I might need it, depending, and the bed. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to build some things, but first let's take a look at our stats. Right now I am tired, I am peckish, and I am thirsty. The biggest effect here is thirsty, I need to get rid of that because that is lowering my intelligence, which I need because I'm going to be trying to get a lot of experience. Oh, radiation storm, going back to bed. Fun fact, you can just sleep your way through a radiation storm and it'll act like it didn't actually happen while you were sleeping. Okay, now, that wasn't the best, but I have weakness, which doesn't matter because I'm not fighting anything right now. I am hungry and I am thirsty, but also I am being affected by well rested, which is giving me extra endurance, agility, and very importantly, an additional 10% XP for a limited time. And let's take a couple of sips of purified water. And two more things that I'm going to do here are I am going to take a Mentats to increase my intelligence by two. I'm going to drink some purified water because the Mentats made me thirsty. And I'm going to take off of that cap. So now I should be sitting at five intelligence. I want to keep my intelligence as low as I can for Idiot Savant while still getting it high enough so that when I place down a fence post, I get three experience. Fence posts can be found under structures, fences, wire fences, and it's the first option. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to place down a ton of these fence posts. Now this is going to get me an extremely large amount of experience. So I'm gonna try to do this quickly so that I can preserve the mentats and have them affect me for as long as I possibly can. I have a lot of wood, so this will take a while, but this is, as you can see, getting me a ton of experience all the way up to level three. And hopefully this will be able to get me to level 13. There's a proc of idiot savant like I wanted, and more. I'm gonna time lapse this like I did before, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I can't look 
Alright, so we placed a lot of them, we got a lot of levels really quickly, but there was a radiation storm in our Mentats wore off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take another thing of Mentats and make sure that our stats are where they need to be. As you can see our intelligence is a little bit too low, that's because of Thirsty. So let's go ahead and get rid of that by drinking a bit of water. And now we can get back to placing down fence posts. And now that we have placed down all of these fence posts, what we're going to do is we are going to scrap them like this. And then that's going to let us place down more. <laughs> and we're going to keep on doing this process of scrapping two, placing one, scrapping two, placing one. And we're going to do that until we are out of these fence posts. See you guys in a little bit. We have finally made it to level 11. That's an important level because we can put another experience point into Idiot Savant and that'll get us to level 2. Now we're going to keep on working with these Mentats and that'll get us a little bit more experience. So once again my Mentats have worn off so I'm down to only having 3 intelligence. I need to get that number back up to 5 so I'm able to get experience. Now how am I going to do that? First off let's put a level into intelligence. This is going to put us a little bit behind in terms of Idiot Savant, but it's going to put us a level closer to having science, which is a skill that we're going to need to have at some point. So we might as well put a level into this now, and it'll get us a little bit closer. Now, on average, putting that level into intelligence is going to reduce the amount of experience that we get from each thing, on average, counting Idiot Savant procs by about 1%, because Idiot Savant gets you about 4% additional experience per instance of getting experience, in comparison to the 3% which is flat from intelligence. That's not too big of a trade-off, it's not a problem, but the reason that we're doing it and losing that 1% is because if we do one more intelligence, which we can get from wearing this hat, we are going to be able to get that 3 instead of 2 from each and every post that we put down, which is a guaranteed 50% boost, in comparison to, on average, losing about 2%. So it's definitely worth doing. Three things have happened here, three things. First one, we are now out of wood. We have used up our entire supply, we are not able to make any more fence posts, and that got us up to a whopping level 15. So let's go into our inventory because we are a little bit thirsty, and let's take another drink of purified water. Now we still have quite a ways to go, and there's not really anything left here that can get us any XP. But we're gonna go back into our workshop and check this out. If you go all the way to the right within those fences where you were before, there are fences that can be built out of steel. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the wooden fences. That worked pretty well. And it made a really cool looking line of fences here. Seriously, look at that. You guys know the drill. Go into the workshop and get to scrapping. The final tally puts us at being level 18. Now let's take a minute to think about this. We're going to be able to head out into the commonwealth with 14 of these abilities already leveled. But wait, because we made it to level 18, I'm going to show you guys a little thing you can do that is not in Sanctuary. We're heading over to Red Rocket to do the exact same thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close off this room because we don't want any of the mole rats that are about to show up to get inside. Dog meat, please don't do that. You hear that? Mole rats. Now we can help out Dog Meat. And I think that's the last one. Yep, that is it. And there's a cooking station. We gotta be careful not to destroy this. I don't know why these things are made of metal. That's weird. That's not supposed to happen but I'm tempted to eat them now. 
But anyway, now that the danger is gone, let's get to scrapping. So it turns out, if you don't move while putting down wire fences, they can all go in the same spot. And after that little bit of work, that put us all the way up to level 20, before fighting any enemies in the commonwealth other than a couple of rad roaches and a couple of mole rats. And as the title of the video says, the true beauty of this strategy is that this is completely glitchless. This is not something that will ever be patched because it is a meant to be in the game mechanic. You're simply taking advantage of it in a way that may not have been intended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You should be out to an amazing start in the wasteland. This will work in any mode, but it's specifically useful in survival because of all the challenges that you'll face. So if you use this strategy and if you liked this video, then like this video. Leave a comment below about any questions you have about Fallout 4 technology. I can answer those. If you didn't quite understand something about this video, go ahead and ask about it. I'd be more than happy to explain it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to learn how to tech. I feel paralyzed.